All right, F. W. Taylor. He had a motivation theory, and he was a smart guy. He used to work for his work as a laborer in factories in the U.S. And gradually, he realized that people are motivated by money. According to F. W. Taylor, people are motivated by money. So what he did was he broke a task, any task a person is doing, a task into smaller tasks. So if a if someone is making pizzas, he broke them. He broke the whole idea of making pizzas into smaller tasks. For example, uh, a pizza is made, a dough is made, a uh, chicken is added. Vegetables are added, cheese is added, sauce is added, baked. So rather you say that, all right, <clears throat> a pizza is, let's make a pizza. He broke every task and then timed all of them. That how much time does it take for each task? For example, it would take, let's say, 30 seconds. I'm just giving an example to add in chicken 30 seconds to add in vegetables cheese would be done in 20 seconds he broke all these tasks I'm just giving an example and then the baking itself takes seven minutes and then he said all right if my team would do these tasks within this average time I will pay them more so the idea was that Frederick Taylor said that all right people are working hard he broke down their task and he then noticed how much time each person is spending on each task I'm just giving an example of a pizza let's give you an example of something different let's give you an example of making a car uh, excuse my drawing but uh, it takes it, and it's an assembly line right we're talking about an assembly line from A to Z so there are there are a few steps in between right let's say making tires these are just examples painting the car add electric wires to the car add seats to the car windows and doors and then he realized wait he then broke it down further and then he said all right it takes 10 minutes for the tires make two days for the paint make uh for electric the electric wires are done in a day seats are done in a day windows or door are fixed in three days so and then he said whoever so then he averaged it all out and he said all right this is what the normal time looks like so whoever would do it way before the normal time he would give them an incentive for example someone has done the so, tires in seven minutes paints of car in and keeping the quality of course one fine five days wiring in done in half a day seats done in half a day windows done in two days so on an average you have saved like one 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 and a half almost i can say 2.5 days so he'll be happy so he will give bonus so he will pay money as per the efforts of the person so the only focus was anna increase productivity so the more an employee would increase productivity the more increase money so in simple words I repeat whatever I've explained he said that workers 
are motivated by money the more output they produce in less time the more they will be paid now he said they'll only be motivated by money and he said uh, they only be motivated by money and we need to look at the output how much they are producing and the time they are spending but then of course it's a good strategy it's a good way to motivate employee but then there are people who said there are two ways that <clears throat> all right is it possible that there might be some problems not all the time but sometime maybe for example one not exactly a problem but one of the hurdle would be this a too simplistic kind of an idea sometimes few of people around you they are not motivated by money they want, maybe they are motivated by for example you are paying them good money but your manager is not respectable he's not respecting you or is not being respected or anything that or maybe the job itself is not as appealing as it should be so he might not be motivated with money and the second option can be there are few jobs where you cannot measure an output of course in car manufacturing yes you can measure the output in pizza you can measure the output but how can you measure an output for a doctor so some jobs it was not pos it is still not possible to measure output so his theory was not 100% for all for example for a doctor you just can't say how many patients you have checked for doctor you need to check how effective he is he are all his patient being treated well so it can't be done for everyone so this gives us an overview of what f w taylor's motivation theory would talk about he would talk about money he would talk about breaking their task into smaller task and then seeing how much time they're spending what's the output are they increasing the output the more the output is increased the more money they get paid thank you very much